Welcome back again. Uh, so just like we did in the Swift Playground, uh, we're going to make a subclass. Uh, we're going to call our subclass ATM Bank Account. The only addition it's going to make is it's going to have a withdrawal fee. So every time you do a withdrawal, there's going to be some fee. And we're going to show you a couple different constructors and just a little bit about inheritance. Uh, so go ahead and flip back over to your project. Uh, the nice thing is, is that you don't need to do anything in, in View Controller. Uh, it's still calling classes, which is great. The thing that you really need to do is you need to make this class. So go and right click on classes and say new file. And we're again going to use a Coca Touch class. Uh, and it's going to be ATM uh, bank account. Uh, and it's going to be a subclass of uh, bank account. Uh, and you can see it auto completed there for you, which is nice. So you can say next and then just save it where in the default location. Uh, and it'll pop up the ATM bank account. What that'll make for you is two files, uh, a .h and a .m. By default, it dropped you into the .m file, uh, but there's also a .h. Uh, what we're going to do this time is we're going to make one additional initializer. Uh, so it's going to be an init with name, with balance, uh, and then what the heck, just to be silly, uh, I'll just say using uh, withdrawal fee. Again, um, it's nice that the compiler helps you uh, when you actually draw or when you actually like call these functions. Uh, so I mean, feel free to use the, the, the silly names or feel free to be consistent or feel free to use no grammatical modifier, right? Whatever you would like, uh, it's just fine with me. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that guy over as he's one of our new functions. Uh, we're also gonna need a property uh, for the withdrawal fee. Uh, just to show you that it's totally doable, uh, I'm just going to put a private uh, interface uh, over in the implementation file. Uh, so again, technically it's what's called a category, uh, and it just lets me add additional things. And so I'll just put the property here, uh, and it'll just say that it's non-atomic, uh, and then actually it's going to be a double. So that's non-atomic is the only thing it needs, uh, and I'm just going to say withdraw fee. And we're also going to practice. We'd like to have a uh, default withdrawal fee. Uh, we'll just make a constant for that. I'm just going to call it default uh, withdrawal fee. And we'll just make it a $2 default withdrawal fee. Um, <clears throat> so I just went ahead and made those things inside the .m file so they're not externally visible. Uh, and then in it with name is going to be one of the things we're going to make. Uh, we're also going to override, kind of like what we did before, uh, the init with uh, name and balance. We're going to override uh, what super did on that. And then let's also go ahead and make one uh, that just overrides init. Uh, so the default constructor, uh, we'll put some things on it. Oops, curly braces. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves three constructors. Uh, they're all pretty similar. Uh, heck, I'll implement the middle one first. Uh, so this one's going to set the withdrawal fee. Uh, the way that I'm doing it here is a little dangerous, but that's okay. Uh, default withdraw fee, and then it's just going to return uh, whatever super does for you. There's a good chance that the way I did this is not best practice, um, but it seems to work just fine. I was a little worried because, like, <clears throat> when you call super is when it actually, like, makes the, the variable. Uh, but it seemed to work to set the property first, so eh, it, was, it was easy to do this way. Uh, so I'll just do it that way. Why not? Um, in it is going to call one of the other helpers, uh, so it's going to call uh, in it with uh, balance. It will just go ahead and use that one that we just made, uh, and it'll just be anonymous. And we'll start with a balance of zero. So this is just representative of what we did in Swift with our convenience constructor. Uh, here you don't say the word convenience, but you still got convenience constructors. Uh, and then the the new one this time, where you get a pass in a withdrawal fee. Uh, it's very similar to the one that we've got in the middle here. Just instead of having a withdrawal or a de default, uh, you pass in the withdrawal fee. So there's three different constructors, sorry, I should say initializers, uh, that we can use with this class. We're also going to need to do some other things. We're going to need to override uh, the withdrawal method. Uh, so if we start typing withdrawal, it'll autocomplete for us. And really what we want to do is we want to uh, call super uh, withdrawal uh, with the same amount. And then we want to additionally zing them uh, for a uh, withdrawal amount. So I'll just say self dot withdrawal fee. Uh, so that should work out just fine to, to zing them for a little bit more money. 
Uh, and then we also need to improve our description. Uh, so if we take our description uh, and we return a little bit more, we can just say ns string, string with format. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take whatever we did before. So I'm just going to say percent at, which is what was there before and then just add a withdrawal fee. Uh, and then so the way we can call our supers description uh, is just super description. Uh, and then we can add our additional uh, withdrawal fee here. Uh, so that way we'll print out whatever super did uh, and we'll tack on uh, the withdrawal fee information. Uh, so that's our class. Uh, just got to see some practice with some more constructors uh, overriding a method. You can see there's not many fancy words in Objective-C. You just do it, right? You don't say at override or anything like that. Uh, we should probably go make, you know, at least one um, class or one instance of this class. Uh, so if we did an ATM bank account, uh, it's not auto-completing for me because I forgot to import it. So I need to say at import uh, ATM bank account. And again, I know I'm going fast, uh, but it's because it's a video and you can always pause it if you want to think about it more. Uh, and this ATM bank account, we've got a couple different initializers. Uh, I'll just kind of do the, the default initializer first here uh, and we'll print him out and we'll do, make some changes to it after that. Uh, so we should be able to just go ahead and print out uh, Bob account uh, and it should be pretty easy. We'll just say percent at uh, and then Bob account. And then the big thing that we'd like to do is we'd like to be able to uh, <coughs> call our deposit. So if we deposit $100 uh, and then we withdraw uh, $10, uh, I think the notes probably did different things, uh, and then we print them again, we should see that he got zinged with a $2 withdrawal fee if everything worked out fine. Uh, so we run him here uh, and we can see that it's kind of hard to read in the logs. Uh, but Bob account uh, started with zero, uh, and then here it says 88, uh, and that's just because I didn't print him between the two. Uh, so that worked fine. Uh, and then if I wanted to on Bob, I could do things like just changing his balance, uh, because that was actually a public field. Uh, so if I wanted to change his balance and say that he has $500, uh, that's fine. Uh, if I wanted to change this withdrawal fee, though, you'll notice that I can't really do that uh, because I don't have access to that field. Uh, so <clears throat> that's one little caveat. I will say with Objective-C, I don't recommend this, but you can uh, cheat the system. Uh, so if you say set value and we change it to, to three, uh, four key withdrawal uh, fee, there are all kinds of ways in Objective-C to uh, cheat the system. So. Uh, just to kind of be aware, this is one of the reasons that I don't care that much um, if you like protect your variables or not, because here I did everything I could to protect withdrawal fee, but somebody still hacked the system uh, and they, they got in and they used the private variable, because uh, you can see it came out to be uh, 487. So I don't recommend that kind of code, <laughs> but I just want you to be aware that you can you know, hack the system pretty good if you want to, to do things like that. Uh, if we wanted to practice some of our other constructors, I mean, they should all work, right? So, I mean, if we uh, set him up with a name, uh, so we named him Bob, uh, we put him on a balance of a thousand uh, and a withdrawal fee of fifty bucks. Uh, you can run it, uh, and all those numbers should should work out just like you expect, right? Uh, and you can see the numbers here. So he started with a thousand, got himself up to eleven hundred. Uh, then he withdrew ten dollars, uh, and that took him down to ten forty, uh, which was kind of too bad for him. Uh, and then over here he withdrew another ten dollars, and that took him down to four forty. Uh, so it all works, right? And you could play with different things in that. All right, so that's kind of the basics of uh, subclasses uh, and classes, uh, and that's kind of our, our introduction to Objective C with those five playgrounds that we went through. Uh, what we're going to do next time is we're going to implement something real. Uh, we're going to implement a uh, tic-tac-toe game. We're also going to show you how to like do mix and match things, which should be really fun. All right, that's it for uh, your intro to Objective-C. Look forward to doing a real application next time. See you then. Bye.